Let me show you something about the little dinky Harbor Freight Meter. These things used to be free with purchase on Clip Out the Coupon, but now they're like, what, six, seven bucks? This one's not, but about six months old, still new. You see right here, it's only going to read five amps right there, right? When you turn it over to the five amp setting. So they kind of ripped me because my old ones, here's an old one. The old ones went up to 10 amps. You see that? So they went up in price and dropped the current. 5 amp right there. So this one went bad right here. Whatever happened to it, I gutted the thing. I was tired of the jittery display. I picked up some freebie displays from Amazon, and then I went on Marketplace. You can get them in red, green, and blue. So I just hot glued the thing in there. So this is basically a, uh, what does that read? 5 volts to 30 volts. So that's pretty good for checking out something on the car. If all you're trying to do is voltage, no AC, no house wiring, nothing like that, but around your car, your lawn tractor, or these little stupid batteries here. The 20, 21 volt ones where one always has a bad cell in it for your weed eater. So I've got another tip on these. This one is accurate. Laugh, laugh if you will at Harbor Freight. You can adjust these. If you've ever experienced a Harbor Freight meter where you, you might be showing 1906 volts and then you turn the knob there or jar it around and all of a sudden it reads 191 or something stupid, you can... You can fine tune these. There is a pot inside when you take the back cover off. You can you can sink it with maybe a nice fluke meter or something like that. You can you can adjust that reading right there so it's accurate. I'll show you where the pot is. Look at that. Restored the old Harbor Freight in color. So here it is on a Dollar Tree battery. Hey. That little pot right there, okay, if you have a voltage right here and you've got a fluke meter on there showing, let's say it's, your fluke is reading 19.1, but this thing here is reading 18 or whatever it's reading, turn the little pot right there so that your Harbor Freight meter reads what the fluke meter reads, and then... You've got a little backup right there. You know it's pretty accurate.